टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सी एस आई बेस्ड क्वेश्चन ऑन टाइप्स ऑफ नेचुरल सिलेक्शन सो एज आई हैव डिस्कस्ड इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो अबाउट व्हाट इज नेचुरल सिलेक्शन एंड टाइप ऑफ नेचुरल सिलेक्शन सो हेयर जस्ट आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू इन अ ब्रीफ वे सो वी नो दैट देर आर थ्री डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ नेचुरल सिलेक्शन वन इज स्टेबिलाईजिंग अनदर इज डिरेक्शनल एंड द थर्ड वन इज डिसरप्टिव so uh, here we can see a phenotypic distribution of original population so after the evolutions for stabilizing selection only individual with intermediate phenotypes are selected okay for directional individual at one extreme in is selected and for disruptive individual at both the extreme ends are selected so uh, you can uh, watch my um, other video where i have explained in a very uh, descriptive way so, uh, so let us discuss about some questions which are asked on this topic so here is a question the mean and standard deviation of a body size in drosophila populations are 8.5 and 2.2 mm okay so let us draw a normal phenotypic distribution graph so here we can see that they are saying that the mean is around 8.5 so before any evolution the original populations was having a mean of 8.5 mm and the standard deviation was 2.2 okay so this is the original scenario now what happen under natural selections over many generation the mu and the sigma the mean and the standard deviation of the body size changes to 8.5 and 0.8 so after the natural selection after natural selection we can see that the mean value remains the same so after natural selection occur we we find that the mean value is still the same okay so that means the graph is shifted neither to this end not to this end the graph still remains the same so in this case we can see that individual with intermediate phenotypes are selected because the mean remains the same look at the value after the natural selection the body size was 8.5 mm before the natural selection the body size was 8.5 mm after the natural selection the body size is still 8.5 it neither increased nor decreased so in both the cases the body size remains same okay so in both the cases favors the intermediate phenotype so after natural selection we say that it is a stabilizing selection because for stabilizing we know that individual with intermediate phenotypes are selected okay individual with intermediate phenotypes now what would happen if the question said that um, after natural selection the mean of the body size changes to 10 what would have happened if the body size would have changes to 10 mm so in that case in that case the the graph would have shifted in this way to the right at one extreme end okay so it would have shifted to this one extreme end so in this case what would have happened that only one extreme end is selected so that would have been your directional selection okay so in this question the answer is stabilizing so for this question the 8.5 mm the answer is stabilizing let's look at another question here is again the graph of the phenotypic distribution of original population and this is after the evolved ones okay 
this is the evolved population so in this case we can see that the mean values lies around lies between 5 and 6 and in this case also the mean values lies around 5 to 6 so again individual with intermediate phenotypes are selected okay the graph didn't shift neither towards 9 or 10 or neither towards 1 or 2 so again the answer will be stabilizing okay so i hope you guys have understood so please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you